The meeting, and we are having a premier protein drink, quad triple espresso, with a premier protein added to it. We are making the top of our big ass waffle, and I got blueberries, raspberries, and I'm adding these strawberries to it and two packets of stevia. So one thing it says to do is pop your berries and kind of crunch your berries down while this is boiling, which is what I'm doing and then I'm just stirring it. This has been going for a couple minutes now and once it gets thicker that's when it's done. Okay this is all done and you can see how thick it got. It boiled for quite a while, what 10 minutes maybe even? So you, you need to just let it boil until it gets thick and now I'm going to pour it over our waffles we just made. And like I said, this is just fruit and stevia. So this is actually zero smart points. This is our breakfast this morning, guys. It's called the Big Ass Waffle, mudhustler.com website. I did adjust mine just a little bit. And I made the zero point fruit topping on top. Into the library to upload my video and I'm having a banana for a snack. You came with me on our, our walk today. We are at the library uploading my video. Aww. Luna's in the car. We're keeping her in the car today. This is going to be our lunch. We have, we're having a BLT. We have to use up our tomatoes that we got from one of the girls at work, from Corey's work. And we've got some cucumbers from her garden as well. So we're each having a half a cucumber. So it's a huge cucumber. Plus we're having the sandwich. The sandwich is going to be six points because we have a tablespoon of miracle whip on there and three slices of bacon and each bread slice is one so that is six smart points for lunch okay this is what we're going to have for dinner but i wanted to bring you through and show you how i figure out the points on this so these are what is in my bag so i just go ahead and write down the points right next to it how many points each item is so the the thinly sliced beef is a lower fat so that's 10 points for 10 ounces so it's a point an ounce. Broccoli is zero. Garlic is zero. Symbol Salik. I don't even know Selic. And I'm not even sure what this even is, but I looked it up and it is zero for one tablespoon. Rice wine vinegar is zero. Bok choy, baby bok choy is zero. Carrots are zero. Sesame oil. I only use two teaspoons. So two teaspoons is two points. I don't use the full tablespoon. You don't really need to. One tablespoon of light brown sugar is three points. And... This is the vegetarian Worcestershire sauce, and that's zero. So the total points came up to 15 divided by two is about seven and a half each. So that is dinner tonight. So seven and a half points for dinner is not that bad. And I'll figure out points on, this is one that we're gonna have tomorrow night. So I'll figure out points on that one as well. Snack today, I'm having the barbecue potato crisps. This is two smart points. So having a Diet Dr. Pepper with this bag of chips. Lemon Built Bar for three points today. I am mixing up all of my veggies here. I just got everything put back together from the Home Chef meal. This is a Weight Watchers meal, by the way, from Weight Watchers. They, they partner up with Blue Chef. So this is the beef stir fry. Now I'm just mixing up all of the veggies together here. About to add my sauce. I'm gonna add my sauce now. This is it. I'll show you the plated product when we're done. Okay, this is way too much for just two people. So we're getting three servings out of this, guys. This is a huge pan, too. I don't know what size pan this is, but it's one of the huge ones. So you can see there's a lot of food there. It's supposed to make two servings. That's way too much for us to eat. So we're making three servings out of this. That's awesome. This is dinner tonight. It's It made a lot. Like, it made a lot, lot. So we're having just a third of this instead of a half of it. Five points with, and it has the beef in it. So bok choy, broccoli, carrots, and then the sauce. How do you like it, Corey? Mm. I'll taste a piece. Mmm, not bad. I don't know if it's my favorite. The sauce is different. I don't know. 
I can't pick. I can't put a finger on it, but it's a little sweet. Is it? It's a little sweet. Yeah, it's got the sugar in it, though. I don't think we really needed that much sugar in here, really, to be honest. It's almost too sweet. Is it pretty good, Eclipse? Eclipse thinks it's pretty good too. <laughs> so having a big glass of water with my dinner. So I am having a sugar-free Jello for a snack tonight. Good evening, guys. What's the matter, Jack? Hey, Jack, what's going on? He's so funny. He only goes up there when the dogs aren't down here. And the dogs are locked upstairs while I record, so that's nice. So, you can see my day went really good. I ended my day at 22 smart points because my points came back down to 24 or 23 because, as you know, she put the wrong weight on for me. So my points jumped up to 24, but in reality, they should have been at 23, which I kind of realized in my head, too. So was, that's why I was kind of keeping it a little bit lower, not going way above 23 points. So my points were 22 today. Now I may have a string cheese. I have not had it yet and I probably won't, but I can't say I won't, I won't, because if I get hungry, I will have it. Otherwise, everything is what it is and I have been trying to drink my water so badly. I've got two cups in, in the third one. I try to get three of those every day, but the third one is gonna be hard tonight. I don't know, I just am having a hard time with my water, but I'm gonna work on it. I'm, I am, I'm gonna work on it. I'm going to try to do one glass even before breakfast when I get up and see if that helps add some more water to my day. But yeah, I got my walking in and so far I've got 11,300 steps, which is awesome for weigh-in day. That dinner, we weren't really that thrilled with it. I mean, it was okay. It was a nice change. Beef was a nice change, actually. It was nice having the beef stir fry, but it just didn't have... Like Corey says, your stir fry is much better. And I have to admit, my stir fry is much better than that. I don't know what it was with the sauce. I just didn't like the mixture of flavors that was in it. And it was way too sweet for us too. So I didn't like the sugar added in there. Not a tablespoon anyway, maybe like a teaspoon, just a little hint of sugar. But this was kind of really sweet. If you like a sweeter stir fry, you probably would love this, but this was a little too sweet for us. In that sauce that I didn't know what it was, it's like a spicy sauce. So if you don't like spice, you may not love this because it is, I only use like a quarter or a half of it, which wasn't spicy at all. But if you use the whole thing, then it could get kind of spicy, I think. But I think that's what it is. It's like a spice hot sauce or something, just a different type. So we didn't like it. It was, it was a miss for us and we won't get it again because I'd rather make my own stir fry. We have the chicken tetrazzini, no, chicken zahidi, I think it is, next. We're not going to have it tomorrow though because we're going to be traveling tomorrow. I have to try and return my shoes from, where did I get them from? They're the trail runners. We got them at Man, I can't remember the name of the store because we never hardly ever go there because it's so far away. But we're going to just take a trip over there because my right foot has been hurting so bad. And I think there's something wrong with that shoe itself. Now, I've had these shoes for a few months now, but they will return them after any length of time, even if you use them. So they'll, they'll probably exchange them for me for nothing, which is what I'm hoping for because my purple ones that I had were awesome. They never hurt my feet at all, but this pair, just the right side is really bothering me a lot. So I'm gonna try and do that because there's something, I could tell there's something in that sole that shouldn't be there. It's like a lump there and it always bothers my foot. I should have returned them a long time ago, but it's a long trip there and we just never made the trip before. So tomorrow we're gonna make that trip. These shoes are over $100. So it's worth the trip over there to try and get them replaced. And then I've got another 500 miles starting over again. So that's nice. Went to upload our weigh-in video. If you've not seen my weigh-in video yet, check it out. I will link it down below in the description box. It was an awesome weigh-in for both of us. I loved it. And that weigh-in really makes me want to work hard this week, like super hard this week. So I'm gonna try for another big loss. I know I'm not, I know I'm not gonna get another big loss like last week, but I'm gonna try for something over a pound. I'm hoping for that. 
Otherwise, that's pretty much all we did today. We walked while my video uploaded over at the library. I'll probably get a small walk in while I wait for this one, or I might read my book too. It depends. But I want to get over there while it's still light because you guys know I get freaked out in the dark over there sitting by myself. And it's only, what time is it? It's 5.15 right now. So we were all done eating by five o'clock, which is my goal. I'm trying to do the intermittent fasting sort of. So I'm done eating at five and I start again at nine o'clock in the morning. That has been working out really well for me. That's pretty much what I did all week as well. We'll see how this week goes. I'm going to continue to do that though. I'm going to stop eating at five, start eating at nine o'clock in the morning. I do drink coffee in the morning though. So that's kind of breaking my fast, I guess, because I put creamer in it. And I have that usually about 6.30 and then I don't eat until nine. I know one thing I wanted to mention to you guys, I had forgot, I, I didn't realize that Anna from Anna's, her name is, her channel name is really long and I don't remember it. I'll put it down below. She also did the refrigerator collab. So, and go check out her video. Like I said, I will link it down below for you guys. It's another refrigerator collab. That is it for tonight, guys. I will talk to you guys tomorrow for another What I Ate, and it's going to be another great day. Even though we're going to be traveling, we will probably end up having Culver's for dinner tomorrow, but it's only six points. So that's, no, seven points with the cheese. That's not too bad for a dinner. And then we'll bring our own snacks. Lunch will probably be a tuna sandwich. We'll bring that along. Either that or egg salad, depending on what Corey feels like. I'll probably have egg salad. Yeah. And I'm going to bring some boiled eggs along too, in case we get hungry in between. I'm going to bring fruit and veggies to munch on throughout our trip because it's quite a long trip. It's like a three hour trip or something. So I'll bring all of that, but I want to bring you guys along with me too. And I'll bring you in the store that we go in. You'll see which store I'm talking about. <laughs> we will see you guys all tomorrow for another What I Ate and some travel time. Thanks for watching guys. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already and be sure to share if you think anybody else may like it. I am back on track gonna stay there and i'm going to be accountable at weigh-in every week and show you those results we'll talk to you guys tomorrow bye guys when you're down and you stay